on your side at 9. The deadly Christmas Day storms that dumped snow on the nation's midsection and unleashed tornadoes in the south is now on the move, making its way to the northeast, and that means more flight delays and treacherous driving conditions for post-holiday travelers. Fox News correspondent Mike Tobin has the latest right now in America. The death toll from wicked holiday weather passed six, mostly from travelers who braved the wind and ice. Nowhere was hit harder than central Indiana, where the storm dumped as much as 18 inches of snow. Oh, right at a dozen wrecks. Uh, one was overturned. Uh, they had an ambulance there. Uh, several people off in the ditch. The storm stretches up to New England and generated blizzard warnings for the southern states. All of the people who made it to a destination for Christmas faced driving snow and slick roads for the return. My boss will probably expect me to be at work, but I doubt that I will because uh, I'm not driving my car in this crap. The major hubs of Chicago and Atlanta dodged the worst of the storm. However, towns like Indianapolis, Louisville, even Boston's Logan Airport endured many cancellations and delays if they were not shut down altogether. I heard that it's accumulating in Raleigh this morning, so we're a little nervous. This is the same storm that whipped up as many as 34 deadly tornadoes, one caught on home video in Alabama. Oh, Jesus, look at that tornado. Power transformers can be seen exploding. Nearly 300,000 people are left without power, 100,000 of them in the Little Rock area alone. Tornadic fury and punishing straight-line winds tore residents away from Christmas celebrations to seek shelter. I prayed to God as loud as I could, and um, I was just praying for my safety. Left in the wake, traffic disrupted by downed trees, structures and homes destroyed, people displaced one day after Christmas. With more than 1,300 flight cancellations nationwide, there were more than 600 car wrecks in Minnesota alone. Governor Scott Walker of Wisconsin declared a state of emergency in advance of the storm, and the National Guard was activated in Indiana and Arkansas. The storm is still churning for the eastern seaboard. At Chicago's O'Hare Airport, Mike Tobin, Fox News.